Man, what's up everybody? You already know who it is. It's White Boy Rick. We back at it again with another video. And in today's video, we got a sick fucking story to cover, y'all. We're going to be talking about a 41-year-old man and two women who were just indicted on sexual assault charges for sexually abusing and grooming a 12-year-old girl for years. Now, the catch to this whole thing, one of the women involved was the little girl's own mother. Man, let's get into this shit. Fresno, California. Bags and boxes of evidence were taken from the home of 41-year-old Brent Cox, the Fresno man accused of sexually assaulting and grooming a 12-year-old girl. Despite the hearses and caskets on the lawn, investigators say the real horror was happening behind closed doors after Cox's wife and the child's own mother were arrested Thursday for their involvement in the abuse. There are details that are too horrific to discuss. It's tragic for our victim. Fresno County Sheriff's investigators say they received a tip about the alleged sexual abuse about a week ago. They say Cox, his wife Jill Cox, and the child's mother were all in a relationship together and aware of the ongoing sexual acts. This had been ongoing. We think there's been grooming going on for months. We have information going back to May. The way these predators groom children is to get them to believe things are happening that are not. That's the case with Mr. Cox. He's the definition of a predator. The department's Internet Crime Against Children Unit is now looking through thousands of videos and images to determine whether these acts occurred and if there are more victims. Every time we get an update, there's more and more harmful matter and we know harmful matter was sent to the child and of the child. The child's mother commented on Action News Facebook post about Cox, claiming he didn't do anything to her daughter and that they are false charges and accusations trumped up by my ex and his wife. News channels reached out to the child's mother and she agreed to speak with them, but when they arrived, she was already in handcuffs. One neighbor didn't want to show her face, but said Cox was known for throwing large Halloween parties at his home and he always seemed friendly. It's shocking. Anytime you hear of children involved, it breaks your heart, said the neighbor. Cox and the child's mother will be booked in the Fresno County Jail for conspiracy to commit sexual acts against the child, along with other child abuse and endangerment charges. All right, y'all, let's jump right into this. I'm gonna keep this one short. I don't have anything good to say. I sat here for quite a while trying to figure out how to articulate my words properly and publicly. And to be honest, I'm really struggling with this one. Um, I cannot fathom grown ass adults who do shit like this. Male, female, whatever the fuck, I just can't understand. I really can't understand what the hell these disgusting ass evil men see in a child. I just don't fucking get it. And I never will. You'll never be able to explain to me and me understand what goes through their head to think it's okay or to be sexually attracted to these fucking children. It's just fucking sick. As far as the guy goes, the 41 year old creep bastard, I hope, and look, I've said shit like this I don't wish prison on anyone. From everything I've heard, it's a horrible experience. Like, I don't just wish that on people. Until you do certain things. If you rape a child, if you sexually abuse a child, if you do anything to a fucking child, that's the only thing I hope for your life, is prison. So him, he's in California, man, they're in Fresno. If he, he's in Fresno jail right now, if he makes it to the big house, man, they probably gonna kill his ass. They check paperwork in California, they don't play with children. His ass probably gonna get wet up, period. Um, as far as the mother goes, you're the biggest disgrace to the word mother I've ever heard. My mother is the most beautiful, loving, caring woman on this earth. And I can never imagine 
her sitting there being part of some shit like this. I'm so thankful at the way I was raised and who I was surrounded with growing up and how well my mother did raising me. So I could never, ever, ever imagine being that little girl and having to wake up and go to sleep every night after dealing with sexual assault and being groomed to be something or to believe something and knowing in your heart that your mother plays a major part of everything that's going on in your life. It's sickening. Like, my heart goes out to this little girl so much. Man, I truly hope that she gets out of that situation and she finds a real home and a real family to love and care for her the way a child should be. With that being said, man, those adults are sick, evil human beings. They deserve nothing but the worst. And I truly believe when they touch down in California prisons, they will get nothing but the worst. And with, with that being said, my heart goes out to a little girl. I'll keep y'all updated. This is a recent case. They are in county jail right now. They're gonna be going to court. They're gonna be facing their charges. So as everything develops, I'll make an update video. But one last time, my heart goes out to this little girl. I hope as time goes on, she's able to heal as much as possible. Cause you never really heal from something like that. But hey, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure you turn the notification bell on so you can see it first. If you want to support the channel, make sure you click the link in the description below. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. It's White Boy Rick. Till next time.